Hi, my name is Emma Q, and I do modular origami. What that means is I fold a bunch of identical paper units and assemble them into some sort of three-dimensional geometric figure. I first started folding origami in kindergarten when my teacher showed me how to make a boat. From there I learned other simple figures, such as fortune cookies and cranes. In third grade, I made a zodiac wheel, which was my first piece of modular origami. My classmates really liked the zodiac wheels, especially when I started making them smaller and smaller, so I bought a couple more modular origami books and started learning even more figures. In sixth grade, I realized I should do something with all the origami sitting around my house. So I taught a friend how to make a couple of models, and together we began selling origami around our school's campus. So we were like, hey, we can sell this and actually make money. But we decided, no, we probably can't sell on campus and keep the money for ourselves, so we should just donate it to a charity we care about. We decided to donate our profits to the National Breast Cancer Foundation, and our fundraising efforts received a lot of support. We hung up flyers around campus and advertised on the morning announcements, and soon not only students but also parents and teachers were buying our origami. We ran the business from about 6th grade to 8th grade, and we made about $1,300 across all three years. We stopped when we got to high school because it took a lot of time and we decided that we weren't going to have time doing homework and extracurriculars in high school, so we just ended it in 8th grade when we graduated but I continued to make new models and give them to friends and family as gifts. I also started to branch out into other types of origami. I went to a lecture by physicist and origamiist Robert J. Lang, who designs really intricate animal origami. I got a copy of his book as a gift and tried a few of his models, not always successfully. Right now, I'm working on a few gifts for my dance teachers. When I have more free time, maybe over the summer, I might consider selling things again, but I also started an origami website a few years ago where I share directions to my favorite models, and I want to focus on improving and also publicizing that. I'm also designing some of my own models because it's like any other art. You first learn to copy other artists, then you start coming up with your own style. <laughs> 